music made me do it. That's what Ronald Ray Howard claimed. Now, the officer's widow is suing Tupac and his record company for $100 million. What do the people claim, though? Because there were some lyrics in the song about cop dusting or something like that, right? Well, actually, the story that they were talking about is called Soldier Story. And it wasn't about killing cops at all. That's just what the media took, because you know they're going to take what they want. It was about somebody who was so scared of police brutality that he panicked when they pulled him over. They finally pulled me over and I left. Remember Rodney King and I blasted on this punk ass. And it showed how his life fell apart. Now I got a murder case. At the end of the story, he died. Caught a bullet in my head. The screams never left my mind. My brother caught a bullet too. But I think he gonna pull through, cause he deserves to. This fast life ain't everything they told you. They never get much older to follow the tracks of a soldier. But they didn't say that. They didn't talk about none of that. They just took what they wanted. The media generally has portrayed Tupac in basically a negative light. Your song, I Don't Give an F. I start the song out sitting in a paddy wagon and the cops are bragging about beating up another brother. What that shows is what the media on any day is able to show you about anyone's life. And in reality, people live their life on a day-to-day -day basis. So I feel like my job is to tell a story, the whole story, and I can't censor it. Whatever you say, censor it or making it right, it's still censoring it. You know, we all got to have the knowledge of what's going on, and that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so you don't advocate cop killing? In Not at all. Case. I don't advocate violence in any way. I, I'm just, deals I'm just curious as to whether the song that he was listening to had anything to do with cop killing, or...? No, no I, don't, I, don't, I just said I don't write songs about cop killing. But it did have songs. the lyrics don't six in there. of the songs on your album mention cop killing? No. Nope. Oh, that's they don't. not true. No, nope. all my songs talk true. about police brutality and self-defense. Now, that's something different. If we're going to talk about police, this man over here is in a really rough area, and he puts his life on the line every day. I got so much respect for him for that, but look, we have to live in the same neighborhoods without bulletproof vests, without backup, without um, walkie-talkies, without guns, without tear gas, without pepper spray, without batons. So now we have to fix the problem. Talk knew that, that media is a machine that you either work with it or against, so he work with it. These people don't see it every day. No, but they what I would no, like to see, see is for wait, children wait, in our country to have a better future than what you guys have. And that's not going to happen when he's repressing his generation and his people by saying they have no hope. What do you know about my people? I know a lot about your people. What do you know about my people? Charity, give no, money, charity wipe the guilt away, does not mean you know about the young black no. man today's society. What would you say is the answer to that? Violence? No, it's making music is what I'm doing now. It sparks dialogue, and that's how laws get made. That's how change get made. I see no changes. All I see is racist faces. This place hate makes disgrace to racist. We under. I wonder what it takes to make this. One better place. Let's see waste the waste. Take the evil out the people that we act in right. Cause no black and white smoke a black tonight. And the only time we chill is when we kill each other. It takes skill to be real time to heal each other. Okay, let's get serious. All BS aside, it all comes down to we got to survive here in this country. Because I'm not going back to Africa. I mean, if this is truly a melting pot, then we really need to be like that. White folks, black folks, Korean folks, Mexican folks, Puerto Ricans, we got to understand each other.